17 Newsmakers this morning. Bakersfield Police Chief Greg Terry is joining us this morning as he does once a month. Chief, thanks for coming in. We appreciate it. You bet. Good morning. Making me feel old with all the uh, back to school <laughs> and what we remember because I remember typewriters and used them a lot. I remember them. No computers at all. No, I remember so. when they first became a thing um, and taking the typing class. So yeah. yeah, what a throwback this morning. <laughs> Just talking about all the technology and how rapidly it's changed. It's yes. a new world for sure. Yeah. Um, we're going to talk about the new technology uh, that your department's using actually in just a moment. Okay. Uh, but first, let's begin by talking about this uh, DOJ report that was released recently on a 2021 officer involved shooting. It was a deadly shooting. Uh, the Department of Justice recently cleared BPD in that shooting shooting of Che Noe Zuniga Jr. But the DOJ was critical of officers use of their body cameras in the minutes after Zuniga was killed, recommending some policy changes. So Chief, can you walk us through what happened in this situation and whether officers followed body camera policy? Yeah, the body cameras, we've had the program since 2019 and it's evolved several times in terms of policy and, and implementation and understanding how they're used and the best practices and that sort of thing. The recommendations that came from DOJ, uh, we're reviewing them now, but we're, uh, we've modified our body cam several, several times this, uh, over the last couple of years to be in compliance with these recommendations and best practices. Officers are required to activate their camera when before they come into any plan to contact with someone, whether it be a traffic stop, whether it be someone walking down the street or a call for service. Uh, um, and they're to leave the body cameras on through the entirety of that contact uh, and, and they can disengage it or turn it off when they, when they go away, when they leave the call, uh, end the traffic stop, or that sort of thing. While they're on a call for service, sometimes you're engaging with other officers, creating some tactical planning or talking to supervisors, ad administrative type conversations, and they're able to mute them. That was one of the recommendations too, talking about the muting. Mm -hmm. And so we've looking at all of those kinds of areas to ensure, because the purpose of the program is to capture the interactions, the entirety of the interaction between the officers and the members of the public. And so we're always looking at policy to make sure that uh, it's in alignment with the best practices and to accomplish these goals. And when there's clarity or it's not clear about what our intentions are or what our direction is, we need to modify that. And so we're reviewing those recommendations now. But specifically, uh, we're in compliance with them now in terms of our training uh, and the policy both. So in this specific situation, uh, it was after the shooting occurred um, and officers were having some conversations mm -hmm. and they muted their body cameras. Mm -hmm. uh, was that in compliance with policy or is that something you're looking at changing? Yeah, we're looking at that specifically. Um, the, that's the, the recommendations on that particular shooting is being reviewed now. So we're gonna figure out exactly what DOJ was talking about. But in general, clearly, people that are involved in a, in a critical incident or an officer involved shooting, our policy already directs them that they're not to have any conversations about the shooting. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes in a very dynamic, very scary, people are making statements and things like that. And so we wanna make sure that those things are captured uh, and the body cams are running, but we've also uh, assigned and made sure that there are people that are coming to the scene that are not involved, that provide escorts to these officers so that they ensure that, so that we can ensure the integrity of the investigation and there are no inappropriate conversations that take place. So both from a policy perspective and from the practical application of that, we're trying to put safeguards in place to make, to make sure that the integrity of the investigation stays there. Should, should they have left their uh, body cameras unmuted in this case? I haven't seen the entirety of this investigation yet because the administrative one was put on hold while the DOJ investigated it. Now that we've received their investigation, our administrative investigation is proceeding and I just haven't seen the conclusion of that yet. Okay, so this is still something that is under investigation by your department, even though the DOJ yes. has concluded its investigation. Yes. Okay, um, let's shift gears now and talk about the real time crime center. Mm -hmm. uh, and this is something we were mentioning earlier about how technology is changing yeah. and it's changing policing. Yep. At a recent city council meeting, they voted to expand the BPD's license plate reader program that's part of this real-time crime center. Mm -hmm. How is modern policing changing with use of these kinds of tools? Well, the technology, as we've already talked about, every, we see it every day, it is, it is evolved rapidly and that certainly affects policing. So uh, you, you might envision a, a, a control center with walls of monitors and things like that. Um, that's been a common picture of what real-time crime, real-time information center is. But technology is so advanced that a single person sitting at a desk with a computer can be a real-time information center because of the integration of all these different te technologies. And so what we're really trying to do is enhance public safety. 
uh, by leveraging and maximizing our resources, building collaboration with partners across the city to, to leverage the technology that we have. The license plate readers, traffic cameras, drones, third party or private vendors, businesses, schools that will be able to integrate and provide us permission to have access to their video if we were to need it in the event of emergency. And so imagine a call for service coming in. Um, it's, it's being dispatched, officers are being dispatched. People in the real time crime center can look and see if there's cameras there and immediately begin providing intelligence to officers so that when they're arriving, they already know what's going on, where somebody went, if a car has left and fled, perhaps it can be tracked in a license plate reader. And so. All of this technology is in pieces and have been uh, used by the police department, but we're trying to integrate it into one place, to, again, to enhance public safety, identify people responsible for criminal conduct, and apprehend, and, and apprehend them. Is this exciting to you as a chief to see how these advancements can change? And, and do they enhance safety for your officers, officers yeah. as well? Yeah, because in real time, we're able to provide information to officers in the field. So while they're responding to a call, we're gonna be in a position to provide them additional information because a dispatcher has very limited information. They're in contact with a, with a victim or somebody reporting a crime, and then officers are on the way. Well, people in the real time crime center will be able to recontact that person and tell us what's going on, what's happened in the last two minutes or whatever. And they're looking at cameras and be able to provide the, the person fled, the person is actually wearing this, this is where the car went. And so resources can be directed directly to that. So officers have more information about what they're dealing with and we can uh, provide a much higher level of service. And again, protect the public and be in a much better position to protect the public and protect the officers and apprehend those that are involved in criminal activity. All right, Chief Terry, thank you for coming in this morning. We you appreciate bet. it. Thank you. We'll be right back.